All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since you guys have had an update on the Colorado, so I finally got what I've been waiting for. So what we have here is a soft topper from, uh, well, Boulder, Colorado. Actually, soft topper is American made. So I'm gonna walk you guys through an install on the old Colorado. Not much has changed. Uh, like I said, I've been waiting on this thing for a while. Now, you, you will notice that I do have a Daten Fab rack on here now. This rack is actually designed to work with the soft topper and the soft topper will go inside of this rack. Now I do have an awning already mounted on here and today I'm gonna to walk you guys through an install on doing a soft topper with a Daten Fab rack. I do have a rooftop tent. Technically, it's not on a truck right now because it will not fit in the garage. So when we do another camp session, I will put that on. But uh, just for now, this is gonna give us a good idea of what this thing's gonna look like. So I'm gonna go ahead Got everything unboxed. We're gonna lay it out here and see how tight it fits to the Daten Fab and if it's gonna work with our ARB awning. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and get into the install. So here's all the hardware you're gonna need for the soft topper. And pretty much the way this thing works is it's like a canopy that can open up and it basically just snaps into position. So the first thing we're gonna do is build our rails and go ahead and get kind of the skeleton together and then we're gonna to toss the canopy on. So let's go ahead, we're gonna lay this out and start assembling. All right, so the first step, you wanna locate the driver's side and go ahead and slide these two together. You can obviously tell which one it is. They telescope and snap into place. Make sure you get the bracket facing downward and we're gonna go ahead now and set this on the truck and go ahead and mark the other side up and uh, loosely kind of start clamping things together so we can put the frame together. Looks like it's gonna work out just fine. Let's go ahead and slide the driver's side in here. Of course, you've gotta get it turned. There we go, gotta get it turned the correct way like this. Just kinda of see how it's gonna look in here. It's gonna set something like that. The only thing I can see is, looks like the Daten Fab rack is gonna cause a slight gap here. They actually include a little extra material. I think we're gonna go ahead and put some of that on here ahead of time. It's not a bad gap, but uh, you definitely don't wanna leave it like that. You're not gonna be able to clamp this thing down and make up for the difference, I'll put it that way. All right, so we got everything assembled and I'm just gonna put a disclaimer on this. The easiest way to do this thing, guys, is go to like almost the back page. It's gonna show you kind of the assembly overview Makes it a little bit easier. So let's go ahead now, we're gonna throw this canvas on here and hope that Dat and Fab did their measurements right and this thing will go right together. So finally got everything buttoned up on this. I did not film all the work that it took to put this thing together. I'm just gonna go on a limb and say, doing this alone is gonna be extremely difficult, guys, just because this canvas, if it's cold outside, try to do it in the like heat of the day or the sun on it, you probably could do it alone, but it, it's pretty tough. You need two people to really get this thing dialed in and go ahead and set aside about two hours if you've got a Daten Fab rack because it is much tighter with the Daten Fab rack, but it looks incredible. Well put together, very well thought out. And you can see it does not touch anywhere on the Daten Fab rack. So if you guys are gonna do a rooftop tent and you want somewhere to store all your gear, keep the bikes dry, whatever you got, Go with the Daten Fab and go with the Soft Topper. I am not sponsored by these guys, and I'm just gonna give them a huge shout out because they make a truly amazing product. Um, just one thing about it though, like I said, do go ahead and set aside two hours to put this thing together. Take your time, go over the instructions, but for us, the easiest thing to do was to go to the back of the pages, the very back of the manual, go into that, and check out the assembly. It gives you a little better idea of just what to expect. I feel like the directions, they're, they're too step-by-step-ish and you end up like just losing where you're at. I don't know. I'm, I'm the kind of guy that opens the manual and just flips to the back and says, okay, there's what it looks like. I'm gonna put it together. So that, that's just me personally. I think uh, if you're gonna put one of these together, go to, go to the last page and just check it out just to double check as you're doing it. So, could you put this together outside the truck? I'm gonna say, yeah, you could, but you're definitely not gonna get the canvas on it. If I was gonna do this again, I think I would probably try and assemble it outside of the truck, just the skeleton part, 
go ahead and put these down in the truck and then have a buddy walk it in with you and you literally can just place it onto those uh, little retaining dowels and then put your canvas on. So out of this entire install, probably the most annoying thing you're gonna run into is just getting these buttons to line up and snap into place. There's gonna be a lot of pulling, tugging, and just flat out just make you wanna cuss as you're putting it together. But it's totally worth it. it. It's just a little bit of extra work to get everything to button up. And be prepared to leave everything loose. That's like the biggest thing with these. Make sure and leave all those clamps loose. You're gonna to wanna to move this thing a lot because it takes a lot of finesse to get everything to line right up where you want it. Especially with the Daton Fab, with the cage rack on there makes things very tight. But uh, I am super happy with how this thing turned out. So if, again, if you guys are even thinking about it, go over and check out Soft Topper in Boulder, Colorado. They make a truly epic product and uh, pretty much guarantee it's gonna fit any kind of truck that you got. They make things specific to each vehicle. This is not a universal uh, canvas that they just throw together. This is actually made for your year making model. So with that one guys, I'm gonna close it off here and I'm gonna do some more videos on the truck. I am starting this thing back up. I know you guys have been wondering where I'm at and I've been waiting on this thing. It's been like two to three months of waiting. So just be aware of that. Soft Topper right now, any company right now, is going to have shortages in materials and delays and shipping and you name it. So just be prepared. I, you could wait up to two months, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and say the wait is worth it. If if you're going to get one of these, just go ahead, bite the bullet. They're roughly about nine hundred to a thousand dollars. So I know that sounds like a lot, but if you get a hard top and you paint it, it's going to be significantly more. Plus the weight and the usability of the bed goes away unless you're hauling something the size of the uh, cover. But with this, it will fold up and go out of the way. As you can see, it's hinged. So this thing will fold up and come out of the way, but it, it does not actually do that with the cage rack on here. So, but that's to be expected. I'm not gonna be rolling this up. I'm actually gonna be putting all my daughter's stuff back here, mountain bikes, all of our gear, and then the rooftop tent will go on. That's gonna be another episode. So I hope you enjoyed that install video. One thing I wanna to do today is actually walk through the first trip with this. I didn't film this trip because it was just kind of a vacation getaway, but I, I did use the soft topper and I wanted to go over uh, how everything worked out. I wanted to go over how everything worked out on this 500 mile journey. So let's dive into this thing and take a look. So fully installed out here in the wild. We're actually at Glen Falls in Highlands, North Carolina. This thing did really good, but I do have a few suggestions that I'm gonna make uh, if you guys are gonna run one of these toppers. So let's go over the first thing, and that's, did it actually keep all the water out of the bed? And the answer is yes, pretty much all of it did stay out of the bed. But with the Daton Fab rack, you do have a slight gap here, as you can see. And that is the only place where water can get in, is through here. So you literally have to be in a torrential rain for that to get in. And we actually were in a rainstorm that was blowing this way. Uh, we had a wind advisory, 70 mile per hour winds tonight. You can see some trees down out here. Uh, pretty, pretty intense storm that rolled through. It was actually a very intense storm that hit last night. So the vehicle was parked, but we did get a little bit of water running in just in these corners. So I'm gonna fold the bike rack down and walk you guys through the inside. All right, so the back of the soft topper, getting into it's not really that hard to do. So I'm gonna do these uh, zippers here. And then you can see this is the latch mechanism. Just give it a tug. Pretty straightforward, I can actually almost roll this up with one hand. Your fasteners. And here's everything in the bed of the truck. So I actually could not have done this trip without the soft topper because I had no way to carry this much stuff in the cab of the truck. Traveling with a three month old, you know, you're gonna carry a lot of stuff. So this trip actually consisted of going to the beach and now in Highlands. So I had to bring two kinds of gear, one for the beach, one for the mountains. All my mountain bike stuff is in here her stroller, a beach traveler. I mean, I've got this thing loaded down in the back. 
And here's the inside. So pretty much all of the water did stay out. I didn't actually have any leaks as far as the soft topper is concerned. It stayed nice and dry in here. The only leaks I had, you can see right here, and that's my fault. I should have put more camper top tape here. And as far as the front goes, you can see down the sides of this thing, it's pretty well clamped down. You're not gonna get water in from the side. And these buttons, they've held up great. Now the only issue I did have coming down the road, you can see here there's a spot for water to make its way in. Of course, like I said, if you use the camper top tape on the front and you have enough time and you do it correctly, use the camper top tape everywhere that you're gonna have a gap. Now, you guys that aren't running a Daten Fab rack, you're probably not even gonna have to worry about what I'm worrying about. So let's talk about something important here. This front window, make sure that you have the buttons on it. Do not use the 3M Velcro. It will come undone on you. And at 70 miles an hour, this thing all of a sudden becomes, you know, a parachute. So my fix for that, as you can see, was some Walmart clamps because I didn't have a drill with me on the road. So I actually ended up just clamping them and removing the little drain plugs pulling it tight and that's basically simulating what a button would do just pulling down on that did just fine the whole way no problems no leaks you know other than the corners like i said if you're gonna have any kind of leaks in this thing it's gonna come from the corners that's what i'm seeing really happy with the soft topper so if you guys are thinking about doing a soft topper i'm just gonna go ahead and say go for it it's totally worth the wait and you will not be disappointed so with that one, guys, I'm going to close it out here. Thank you all for staying till the end. Give this video a like and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done it already. we got plenty more coming for this truck. So stick around, guys. I'll see you.